name is Brian Jones with the Sussex Conservation District. I'm the Ag Conservation Manager. And uh, what, what we're doing today is uh, using our, our air seeder machine to plant cover crop on one of our producer's fields. Uh, the, the, the thought there is to introduce the, uh, the cover crop at an earlier time uh, before the cash crop is harvested and, and hopes to uh, introduce that seed earlier, get a better germination rate and, and ultimately a better uh, stand of cover crop going into the fall and into the winter season. Uh, so today he's he's using the the Miller Nitro. It's an it's a uh, altered uh, sprayer uh, with a seed box uh, uh, installed to uh, plant a radish and crimson clover mix. And uh, and yeah, so we are just gonna wait and see you know see how it goes. We we're uh, generally anywhere between six and three thousand acres uh, season is what we've been hovering around. And and uh, uh, Daniel has been able to uh, get all that planted in a timely manner. If we're successful with the germination, we'll see uh, you know see the radish and clover coming up maybe an inch uh, inch or two uh, that you see start to see a little bit of a green you know tint to the field already, and, and actually uh, having the combine come through and sort of work some of that seed in uh, actually you know helps helps that germination as well if it's not quite uh, you know hasn't quite popped yet. We we try to promote you know the earlier the better, but there's also a window where you don't want to do it too early. Well, a lot of these cover crops are cool season. Uh, annuals, so they don't necessarily, you know, want to be out there uh, in the heat of the summer. Uh, but you know, we we generally try to get running in August and get most of our our ground done uh, by early September or yeah, early September for corn ground. Uh, that that seems to work fairly well uh, for the species that we have. Uh, the district provides uh, seed or offers seed that the farmers can purchase. Uh, this year we're only doing three different two-way mixes. Uh, you know, a rye radish mix, a rye and crimson clover, and then a radish and crimson clover. So, uh, similar species, but just depending on what the farmer wants to see in his rotation. And, and, you know, a lot of it has to do, you know, with their choices on management for termination and, and what the following uh, cash crop is going to be.